What's up guys, Ace here with a different kind of video for you. This is a TMI tag. I was tagged by, uh, what's this guy's name? The Royal Ace, because Ace said so, it's uh, his channel. Better go check that out, and the link will be in the description below. Um, I don't know where this came from. Uh, he must have seen one of my videos and then said, hey, he does tags, why don't I do that? But anyways, I do like doing these tag videos um, with like five weird things about me and whatnot. Um, and if you guys want me to keep doing these, let me know. If there are any others, then let me know as well. And you can feel free to tag me, and I'll be tagging uh, some people at the end of this video. But this is the TMI tag. Everybody knows what TMI is. I think too much information. Um, I'm actually... I, the, the TMI tag, I couldn't really find like the main uh, page for it or 50 questions about it, so I kind of just found it on this one blogger's site. So... Let's start off with number one. Number one, what are you wearing? It's not creepy at all. Anyways, what I'm wearing is I got this from uh, this uh, Facebook page called Insert Gamer. It's a custom shirt. Uh, you mad, bro? It's one of my favorite shirts. Unfortunately, it's got a hole in it, and it makes me sad. And uh, I'm wearing blue jeans. And what kind of socks are these? Generic brand socks? Okay, then. Generic socks. I'm wearing socks. And as for underwear... Your damn business. Have you ever been in love? Oh my god, yes, I have. I fell in love, um, high school. Uh, first time I've ever been in love, and unfortunately it didn't work out because of, uh, family issues and whatnot. Have you ever had a br terrible breakup? Yep. First love's always hurt, man. First love's always hurt. How tall am I? Well... I believe I'm six foot two now, so I'm a pretty tall guy. How much do you weigh? Mm, do I really want to tell you guys? Honestly, I don't think I'm too overweight. I am overweight for my age and my size. I weigh about 240 pounds, give or take a few extra. Um, unfo I am true. I'm actually losing weight at a rapid pace. I've noticed. I woke up this morning and uh, my little neck flabby thing has gone down. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, the perks of quitting a job with high calorie food. Any tattoos? Not yet. I really want to get tattoos. I was thinking like uh, half sleeve, not a full sleeve, because I would like to. Uh, I don't know. Be professional. I know a lot of jobs don't won't take any take you with uh, tattoos. Uh, more often than not, anyways. Um, but I would like to get half sleeves. I was thinking of getting the Mega Man, uh, a Mega Man tattoo, with possibly the Mega Man Two baddies on it, like the main. Um, like, the first, the main eight Robot Masters, I think that would be really cool. I'm a big fan of Mega Man, and, um, yeah, I, th I feel like Mega Man would be my first tattoo, but I, I don't know, I'm going through the motions. When I see something cool, and I want that as my first tattoo, and then I do something else, and I want that, and then I draw something, and I want it as my first tattoo. It's a, it's a, it's a circle. Any piercings? Um, no. Um, I don't know if I really want any. I was thinking about getting earrings at one point, and I didn't really feel like getting earrings at all. Um, well, now I don't really feel like getting earrings. And then I th uh, thought, um, I'm a huge fan of the band Disturbed, and uh, David Draymond, he's one of my inspirations, and I really thought it would be cool to get like his snake pierce, like his snake bite piercings right there. Um, but then I that threw that out the window. I tend to ramble a lot, don't I? OTP, one true pairing. What's your favorite fictional couple? I don't know. I'd have to say, um, Fetch and Delson from Infamous Second Son. Favorite show? I'd have to say my favorite show right now is Attack on Titan. Um, but Kill a Kill is right along there. I'm, I'm a big anime fan, but, uh, you know what? No, no, no. Scratch that. Attack on Titan and Kill a Kill. No, 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 no. Soul Eater. Soul Eater is my favorite TV show. My favorite bands? Well, I answered that already. Disturbed, Five Finger Death Punch, um, trying to think of Three Days Grace, and uh, a bunch of, like, rock and roll. I love oldies, too. Aerosmith, and Def Leppard. Definitely, definitely Def Leppard. Something You Miss. My dog, Merlin. He, I, I picked him out when he was in the... I believe we got him from uh, an animal shelter. And uh, he was one of my best... He was my best friend growing up. Um, we literally grew up... He was a puppy, and I was, like, one year old. So we pretty much grew up together, and it's unfortunate that he had to wait... He went the way he did. Um, I mean, it's still unfortunate. It's probably the best way he could have gone. We had to put him down. 
uh, because he couldn't walk anymore and we, you know, we didn't want him to suffer. Um, he was about 15 years old, but yeah, I miss my boy. I miss my dog. Okay, favorite song. I gotta go through my iPhone here pretty quick. So the song because there's like a million songs I like. My favorite songs would have to be between Indestructible by Disturbed or All in or In Due Time by Kill Switch Engage. Um, Indestructible was really what got me into the heavy metal and hard rock uh, kind of genre now, like nowadays. I mean, I was listening to Aerosmith and Def Leppard way back when, like a lot, and Ozzy Osbourne as well. But uh, Indestructible really. Um, kind of defined, uh, kind of helped me get through high school, or middle school actually, because Indestructible, when I was in middle school, I was bullied. Uh, not as much as others, but I was bullied, and it sucked. And, um, it really said, like, like it really, in my mind, this is the way I interpret it, like, I'm indestructible, and, um, no one can really hurt me, no one cares, no one can hurt me, and it just really pushed me through middle school, and high school was actually pretty good because of it. How old am I? I am 20 years old at the moment. My birthday is October 27th. I'll be turning 21 this year, and I'm so excited. Zodiac Skyne. Skyne? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Zodiac Skyne, Scorpio. Quality you look for in, for in a partner. Um, really someone I liked, uh, a partner that I look for. I, I, I'm not one of those guys who dates a girl or ask her out based on looks. I mean, um, if somebody asks me like what, what, a, what a favorite feature of a woman is, I'll usually say the eyes. Eyes attract me. Um, if you got a beautiful set of brown or hazel eyes, I, that's what I go for. Um, someone who's respectful, someone who actually cares and tries to make everything work out and doesn't, isn't selfish. You know, they're, they're willing to work with anything. Um, and definitely somebody who plays video games. That is a big plus because a lot of the time, a lot of my girlfriends that I uh, have dated in the past, they don't like video games. And whenever I play, like when we were on a, I remember we were on a uh, date with this, or I was on a date with one of these girls, and uh, she was just texting the whole time and she was playing, uh, she wasn't really playing a game. I don't consider Candy Crush a game, but she was playing Candy Crush. And then I pulled out my Game Boy, my old school Game Boy Color, and I started playing. Um, what was it? Shoot, I forgot what I was playing, but I was playing a game, and she goes, ah, those are for kids. And I was like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I'm playing a goddamn... You're playing a game, too, so shut up. Favorite quote? Well, let me pull up my Facebook here real quick, because my favorite quote is actually a long-ass one. I was a young man, I had liberty, but I did not see it. I, had, I don't know if this counts as a quote, but this is really what I like. But this is um, something that really stuck with me. I had time, but I not, did not know it, and I had love, but I did not feel it. Many decades would pass before I understood the meaning of all three, and now the twilight of my life, misunderstanding, has passed into contentment, love, liberty, and time. Once was so disposable are the fuels that drive me forward, and love, most especially, Mia Kato. Mia Kato, for you, our children, our brothers and sisters, and for the vast and wonderful world that gave us life and keeps us guessing. It was a quote by Ezio Auditore da Firenze uh, from Assassin's Creed. So that really stuck with me. And it really, reading it now, it really brings me down to earth. And I like, I don't, I don't even know if that counts as a quote, but I like it a lot. Favorite actor? That is a really good question. You know, that is a really good question indeed. I don't know. I'd say it's a toss-up between Robert Downey Jr. and, um, what's her name? Kate Beckinsale. I really liked her in the Underworld movies. Uh, it's between those two. Favorite color? Um, I have many favorite colors. Um, I'd say my main three would be red, purple, and kind of a green, like the creeper back there, and a lot of you have been asking about that. I'll have to do a room tour here pretty quick so I can show you guys what that is. Um, yeah, like, green and purple and red are my favorite colors. Loud music or soft? I, more of a loud music, like, hard rock, and, you know, I prefer loud music, but soft music is okay from now, now and then, um, but I do prefer loud music. Where do you go when you're sad? Well, when I'm sad, I... Nowhere. I just kind of walk around. How long does it take you to shower? Ladies. Uh, usually it takes me about... 
10, 15 minutes at the moment. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Half hour? Have I ever been in a physical fight? Yes, I have. There was this one point when um, this kid was picking on me, and this was actually the first fight I ever got into, but I got uh, picked on. As I said before, I got picked on in middle school. This one kid just would not stop. He would not leave me alone. Every chance he got, he would mess with me. And it just so happened that when I asked to leave to go to the bathroom, he happened to be in the hallway. Well, he started uh, picking on me, and he started hitting me, and then I said, no more, I grabbed the kid, I don't know, I grabbed the kid, I threw him into a locker, and I don't know if that was, that was actually probably the first fight and shortest fight I've been in, I guess if you can count that a fight. I threw him into a locker, and he ran off. He really stopped messing with me from that day on, and I was actually really glad, but I guess that was the first fight I've ever been in. Um, I know I've been in a couple more, but nothing too major. A lot of people don't really mess with me because of my size. Turn on! Uh, girls who have a uh, good personality and are funny and play video games, those definitely are, like, you know, qualities I see in turn-ons, um, but based on looks alone, uh, eyes. Beautiful eyes, hair, I, oh my god, hair. I, I don't know what my obsession is with hair and eyes. Um, I find eyes to be very attractive most of the time. And, uh, I really like women who have odd colored hair, like someone who has really bright red or bright pink hair, that I find attractive. Um, it doesn't matter if they're like hourglass figured or they have a little chunk or, you know, um, that really turns, <laughs> is a turn on for me, is uh, pretty eyes and the hair most of the time. Turn off. Oh god, disgusting. Oh my god. Um, let me... Um, let me tell you a little story. Uh, I went out with this girl at one point. I had never seen her body. I had never seen her face. I do not mind going out with women who are large. That, I'm not saying that's disgusting. I'm not saying that's a turnoff. But she was proportioned very awkwardly. I mean, I did not. she's a good person. She was very awkwardly proportioned. Uh, which didn't really bother me. But it was mostly her attitude like she had a really bad attitude and she would talk about her vagina constantly <laughs> i shit you not she would talk about that thing like 24 7 she'd be like we were in a restaurant and she was talking about that and there were people around us and they could hear and they could look at us and i looked at i looked around and i'm like oh my god i'm sorry i do she would like every time she'd take a bite vagina every time she'd take a drink vagina after everything even when I tried to change the conversation, she asked, okay, where do you work? Well, I work in a nursing home. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Um, I don't have a job, um, but did I tell you about my vagina? She pretty much said, oh, my God. I don't like that. I don't like uh, people who talk about, like, anything disgusting when I'm eating or gross eating habits. I guess that's a turnoff for me, but that was, that was, like, the one person in the world that I would never, like ever go out with again, like, if I met anybody like that, um, like, anybody else like that, I'd be like, oh my god, what is, what? <laughs> so, I guess that's a turn off to me. The reason I joined YouTube, uh, the reason I joined YouTube was because I was inspired by people like Markiplier and Angry Joe, and I really wanted to bring joy and laughter to everybody, and I wanted to entertain, that's what I like to do, I like to entertain people. Hey, fears! Oh, good lord. Last thing that made you cry. Um, that is something that I really don't want to discuss. I think I already did when I said for my Thank You Markiplier video, but my grandmother passed away two years ago, and uh, that was probably the last time where I really just cried because I loved her so much, and it was just weird seeing her not being around anymore. Last time you said you loved someone. Um, I actually tell my friends that I love them a lot, whether they be joking or not. Um, but the last time I sincerely said that I love somebody was with that relationship back in high school. Like, I sincerely loved her to death. Meaning behind your YouTube and blogging name. Um, my YouTube name, uh, actually originated from Pokemon, believe it or not. I, I had Pokemon Crystal 
That was actually my first Pokemon game growing up, and I named my character Ace because um, there was, <laughs> believe it or not, an Ace of Spades sitting on the ground. And uh, actually, my rival was named Spades, so that was that was pretty funny. Last book you read? Um, the last book I read was Tuesdays with Mori. It's one of my favorite books, and that was way back in high school. I honestly don't think I've read a book since high school. The book you are currently reading? Do questions count? The last show you watched? Um, actually, I think it was NCIS. Uh, my brother's been watching that on Netflix, and I actually sat down and watched a couple episodes yesterday, so that's the last show I watched. The last person I talked to was my brother. The relationship between you and the person you last texted. The last person I texted today was Sidekick, actually. He's my best friend. We've been friends since fifth grade, and believe it or not, our first conversation was about video games and uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Or not Coliseum. Uh, Stadium was the first game we discussed, and we both said how that was how our friendship uh, grew. My favorite food. Oh, good God. Chicken. Chicken! Chicken! I rather enjoy chicken a lot. <laughs> Place that I want to visit. I would love to Venice. To, uh, Venice? I kind of give it away. I would love to visit Venice, Italy one day. I mean... Just all the, the city on the water. Come on, that would be cool. I'd also like to come visit Tap and uh, uh, Nonstop up in Ireland, I think. I don't remember. I can't think of where they actually are. <laughs> but I know they're in Ireland, and I'd like to go to Sweden to visit uh, uh, Kevin and It's a Me Nick one day. That would be cool. Too. Last place I was. The last place I was was in school. Um, not counting home, I was... No! Wait! Take that back! It wasn't actually in school, I was actually at a rental place. Not renting a, mo a movie or game or anything, but, uh, trying to get a job, because I need a job. And, uh, because, uh, video games can't pay for themselves, can they? Do I have a crush? Um... No? Yes? No? I don't know. I really don't. I don't know how to feel about this person at the moment. Um, it's not because they're a terrible person or anything, I just... I have no idea, honestly. Last time you kissed someone... Uh... I think the last time I kissed someone was almost a year ago. Last time I was insulted with my friends. We always like to insult each other as jokes. Uh, favorite flavor of sweet? What the fuck does that mean? Well, as you all know, I don't really partake in sweets as much anymore because they don't- they make me sick, which I'm actually worried about now, um, <laughs> for reasons, and, um, but honestly, I'd say my favorite kind of sweet at the moment that I can handle would be, uh, Cherry Pepsi. I really enjoy Cherry Pepsi. That's probably- I can't have a lot because of the sweet thing, but, um, I'd say cherry pepsi. What instruments do you play? I don't play instruments anymore. Um, I used to play the trombone. I was interested in playing the piano. I actually got a couple lessons in school, and I also tried to teach. Actually, I did teach myself how to play the guitar, but then I stopped playing and I forgot how to play because I'm an idiot. My favorite piece of jewelry would have to be my Roxas and Sora necklaces. I really like these things. They came bundled together. They were like two bucks, and I really enjoyed them. And I was really surprised that they came together for like two dollars. I really enjoy them. Those are my favorite pieces of jewelry that I own. I do have more. Uh, actually, behind me, those three glass, uh, right there, those three glass uh, containers. Uh, the middle one actually has a few rings and stuff, and I have a few cool rings in there. I, I would get up and show them, but I'm lazy and I don't want them. The last sport I played... Well... Um... Honestly, I really haven't had time to play sports so much, um, but I get... Video... I don't know, do video games count? <laughs> no? Okay. Um, well, I'm not gonna count video games. I guess the last sport I played was a little bit of volleyball, I suppose. I have this pink octopus that usually sits on my creeper, the head right there, right right, um, right behind my bicep or shoulder or whatever. Um, he was sitting there, but he's in my car right now. Um, I guess that's uh, volleyball. The last song you sang. 
Um, today I was singing uh, Five Finger Death Punch. Um, oh, what is that song? Um, Under and Over It All. That is another good song that I like. Um, I was singing that today, and a lot of my friends were looking over because they thought I was talking to them. But I was actually just singing that song today. Favorite chat up line or pickup line? Um, I don't really use pickup lines. I just kind of go up and say hi. I, I usually just introduce myself. I don't usually use pickup lines. Um, but let me let me actually randomly search for funny ass pickup lines that might work. Actually, you know what? A lot of them that uh, one of the pickup lines that I I would never use on a girl or anything. But my friends and I. <laughs> We usually say, it usually happens like at least one time, um, every time, at least once or, or like once out of the week or once out of the month if somebody ends up saying, there's a party in my pants and you're invited. That would be the, oh my god, that's probably like the one pickup line that I use, um, but it's just as a joke, but I, I guess I have to pick a serious one. I'd say this one's really nice. Because of you, I laugh a little harder, cry a little less, and smile a lot more. That one's actually kind of cool. I really like that one. Have you ever used it? Uh, what? Maybe? Last time you hung out with someone, this afternoon actually. Um, I hung out with my friends, I hung out with my brother, and I guess you can say I hung out with my classmates. I don't really like a lot, I don't really know, I shouldn't say I don't like them, I don't really know a lot of them. And the last question, who should answer these questions next? Well, I tag Sidekick, Tap Chap, Nonstop, It's a Me Nick, Kevin Alexson. I believe Corey Kenshin already did that, so I'm not going to tag him. Phoenix Coffee and Shadow Claw 001. You all have to do this. That's seven people. I want to see these videos as soon as possible. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys want to tag me with something else, leave a comment below and tag me for something awesome, stupid, or downright ridiculous. And um, if you really did like this video, then by all means like the video. If you want to subscribe, there is indeed a button for that. You're all rock stars. Have an awesome